I started working with James Gray back in 1987. I've known uh, James Beaver Gray since the early 80s. He was probably one of the easiest going people that I know. I categorize him as a personal friend. He's a neighbor. I played softball with him. Beaver, is that what we're going to talk about? I started here in 2000, worked with Beaver from 2000 to 2009. He taught me how to detail cars. He is a very loyal, loyal employee, um, dedicated to what he does. Fantastic guy, been through a whole lot in his lifetime. Uh, I took care of him and his, at the doctor's office also. Uh, been with Beaver for so long, such a great guy. He's raised his children since his wife was in the accident. She's still at Bourbon Heights. He is one person that goes beyond and above of what he does. He takes care of his job here. He goes sees his wife. I mean, there's just nothing I can't tell you that Beaver, he's just one fantastic person. It's one person you'd want to meet in your lifetime and hold on to your friend like I, you know, he's been here. And what he's gone through over the years, I don't know of anybody that could handle that situation. I don't think I could, but I've never seen him upset. Uh, he's always upbeat, and uh, I just think that he's been a, a great addition to this company for 30 plus years. He is so dedicated to everybody. I mean, Beaver would give you the shirt off his back. I've had to ask him many times that people have locked their keys in their vehicle, and he would actually leave, go help them unlock their vehicle, and come back. Um, just love Beaver to death. He, I, I think of him as family. Very trustworthy family man. You will not find a better person in the world. He worked for me in the detail department when I was new car manager, and he's never changed a bit over the years. You know, I, I actually consider it a privilege to call him a friend and a workmate, and uh, I would be more than happy to do anything I could for him at any time because he would for me. Uh, after, like I said, everything he's been through in his life, and he can still smile and talk, and he's just one loving person. I do love Beaver with all my heart. He's a fantastic guy. My man. Hey. How many of these you think you've unlocked? Uh, these. All the cars. Hundreds. When did you start here, Beaver? 84. Do you remember teaching me how to detail a car? 1984. Yeah. You told me this. You said, open the door, you start with the door jam. So the first thing the customer sees is the steering wheel down at the old shack. Oh, wait. I've never unlocked one of these. This is a new model for me. Cool. I got faith in you. Look, we're, gonna doc we're, we're documenting how to unlock a vehicle in case anybody in the Chevy tracks gets locked out. It's going to be vital. Uh-oh. Is this our how-to film series? Yeah. Oh, leave those door locks. Door locks are not going to work on them. Uh-oh. 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 That's usually how they lock. Yeah. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull that door handle twice. Here, hit that button. See if you can get it. Yeah, here it is. Yes! Yeah. My man. You can do it, listen, hmm? listen. Hmm? You've been with us since 1984. Hmm? I was nine. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am now, <laughs> but you know how many years that is. You taught us both how to detail yeah. cars. I was better, but oh. you taught us both. I had more sweat, more tears. Uh, more. You started more, this. Yeah. He's, he's more BS. Right. He's got it all. Yeah. Right. So. But listen, just as a reward for your loyalty. Mm -hmm. This is your car. No. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, dog. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, it's your car. We love you. Congratulations. I can't believe it. Did you buddy. open it or did he? What? Did you open it or did he? Right here. Oh. Why don't we go, why don't we go put you to it? No, Congratulations. Door handle. <laughs> Congratulations. All you this do. is yours. No. It is. No. Your, your other vehicle? Your Jeep. Fix your Jeep. Make payments on your Jeep. Give it to your daughter. She's going to be looking for something. Pass that on to her. She wants this. No, she can't have it. She can't have it. It's all about so, what you've done for us. <laughs>
It's what you've done for this company and all the little things you've done like this thousands of times when you weren't even here at work, you've come here to do this for us, got us out of more jams than you know, and we recognize that. You've been great to our family, three generations of our family. So thank you so much. Believe it. Believe it, baby, believe it. <laughs> believe it, too. And we're honored to have you. We're honored to have you as part of this company. Boom. Boom. Little fist bump. Come on, baby. Come on, we gotta leave it here. <laughs> All right. It's all good. So hey, the, the ladies will handle the details. <laughs>